Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. This is part 16 of my 3D printed scrap metal sculpture inspired Geiger Alien Xenomorph suit. And if you can say that quicker than me, you win a prize. Last time I worked my way through finishing off the head structure to get that main structure in place. And I've done this to most of the body parts with the torso, the dorsal tubes and the tail. But there's still some details to come back and put on those in the future. This time I've decided to work my way from the other end of the suit and try and sort out the legs and feet. I'd like to give myself a little bit of extra height, so I'm going to make some short lifters. I'd also like those to be like digit grade legs, which is basically an animal that walks on its digits. So its heel is in the air, which gives that sort of typical dog's leg shape. I don't want too much height and I don't want to be too uncomfortable wearing the suit. So it's going to give me maybe six inches of lift, something like that. I'm going to try and make something that's quite comfortable and solid to walk on. I've really been wondering whether with all my other projects where I've done these big 3D printed structures like my R2D2 frame, whether I could actually walk on 3D prints and whether that would be strong enough. So today we're going to find out. This is the basic idea which is going to be a short lifter made of lots of 3D printed sections laminated together. And I'm hoping I can print these in less than 100% solid, probably about 30% which was the same as R2D2. So um, what I've got here is six 5mm layers. And I've got some other spaces in between, so if we um, hide these parts. You can see we've got this figure of eight section in between, and another one in between the next two. Um, and these things are located into slots um, on a base and on the top where my foot goes. And the one on the top there has two holes, which are bolt holes, which are going to be bolted to the heel of a shoe, which will be on that platform. So it'll be slanted forward slightly, and then obviously the pointy piece at the back will be kind of the heel. So there's some more features to go on to this. This is the basic structure, but obviously that'll be um, decorated, if you like, with conduit and so on, and a big heel sticking out. And we'll also have um, pointy toes at the front at some point. But for now, we're going to get this structure printed and see how strong it is. I'm using both Tazzes to print the parts because we've got quite a lot of printing to do for this. And that's still going to take several days of printing. As you may be able to see, all these parts are only 30% infill, so they're not even solid plastic. Here are all of the parts for one foot, so these took two hours each. And I've got six of them plus the tops and bottoms and the figure of eight. And that's only for one foot, so once this is together and it's okay, I need to do a whole other one. So I've got some of those uh, set up there with a bunch of clamps, which are getting welded together at the moment. And I've got these ones here, so these are the pairs of 5 mil layers that get stuck together back to back to make the three main sections. So this is ABS plastic, which dissolves in acetone, so we can chemically weld that together just by spreading some acetone on the, each surface quite liberally because it evaporates quite quick and sticking those two together and making sure of course they're aligned properly and sticking some clamps on Right, I've got one of these all together. It's extremely tough feeling, obviously with all those parallel sections and the bits of figure of eight filling in the middle. So I'm pretty sure it would support all of my weight. Ah, that seems fine. It's extremely rigid. So um, we've left two bolt holes here so I can bolt on some shoes. So I guess I can put some shoes on and try actually standing on them. But hang on, I need another one. Here it is, so I've printed all the parts again, which took a couple of days, and now we've got a pair of them. So let's get some shoes attached and see how well they work. I've been saving up old shoes for a while to turn into costumes, so I've got this pair of shoes, which don't look too bad, but the heels have gone through basically, and they also have holes in where the soles have gone through and they leak. So they've been in my cupboard for a while, just waiting to be used in a costume. And these ones are quite useful because if we pull out the insole, which is quite thick, Hopefully you can see in there, they've got these kind of divots underneath on the actual sole, which will be quite handy to recess bolt heads. So I've left the holes in these pieces. All I need to do is 
drill a couple of holes and put some bolts through and then put a strap on the toe to stop it lifting up. So that's bolted on. I've got some nuts just underneath. I don't know if you can see them just between the pieces below that top flat level. So they're bolted on really well. And I'll just put a strap on the toe and then we can give those a test. Before I do any testing, I thought I should put a rubber sole on there so I don't slip over. So um, I'm going to do a hybrid print here with the Lulzbot Flexi Dually Dual Extruder. So the blue part is ABS, so I can acetone weld that onto the bottom of the lifter. And the orange piece here is Ninja Flex. So this is going to be printed in one print and all bonded together with heat as it's printed. If I just hide the Ninja Flex section, then we can see in fact that's fitted into a tray there, so there'll be quite a lot of bonding around the edges. And the other little orange lump there is um, there for two reasons. That's to keep that Ninja Flex extruder flowing until it needs to print Ninja Flex so it doesn't all ooze away and leave a gap when it starts. And also so I can test out my dual extruder slice when I start the print um, and I can see if both extruders are working correctly on the first layer rather than waiting for it to print all the way up through the ABS to get to the Ninja Flex and then find out it does everything with one extruder or something like that. So that's well underway printing. It's got up to the point where it's doing Ninja Flex and now it's using the front extruder to do the perimeters and it's about to do some infill, hopefully. Off it goes. So we're about one hour 23 through. Now we've got quite a few layers to build up. Here's one of my Ninja Flex and ABS hybrid print soles. So the um, edges here, which look like a frame, are Ninja Flex. And the rest of it's ABS, so it's got an ABS back on and that I can um, acetone weld onto the bottom of the stilt. So it's bonded extremely well around the edges. I can't uh, actually see the difference. Um, and I think that's gonna be fine. So I've actually done one of these already, this one. So that's stuck on. So I just stick this to the other one and then we can give it a test. Okay, so I'm in them. They seem fairly comfortable, actually. Um, I can walk fairly easily in them. I feel quite like an alien. I don't have to keep my legs bent. I can stand up with straight legs if I want to give my knees a rest. And it's still not too uncomfortable. The slope of the foot there isn't too steep. So, um, yeah, pretty good. Obviously, there's a lot more to add to them. But in terms of stability... Um, I feel pretty good and I feel pretty much like an alien really with aliens legs and obviously you can walk on 3D prints with no problems these are more than rigid enough I'm pretty happy with those um, there's obviously going to be loads more attached to this so I still have to put something on the front here for aliens toes I'm thinking about kind of a three-fingered claw on each one and they're not really wide enough to get all of the toes on without me tripping over them and I'll have to decide what those are made of, whether they're Ninja Flex. So if I kick things, they don't break. Um, at the back there, we've got the big heel where there's a big feature on the back. And I was thinking about covering these brown shoes with basically a shoe topper or a spat. Um, I'm printing those flat in Ninja Flex with lots of details on and pinning them over. But I'm not gonna do that yet until I've decided what the actual structure looks like and how this integrates with the shins. Um, now you may have noticed that the shoe on here is a little bit wobbly. Obviously my feet are loose in the shoe, so there is a possibility I could fall over sideways and break my ankle. Um, so one of the things I was going to do is have an extra ankle support piece. So you may be able to see that there's some 6mm holes I left in here. The idea was to have a big vertical piece that comes up and clamps on the leg. Um, so for now I haven't done that because I'm actually feeling quite stable in them. We'll have to see how walking goes and whether that piece could be 3D printed and whether it would actually be strong enough to withstand the force of my um, leg breaking sideways or whether I'm just better off leaving as, them as they are. Um, so I'm going to carry on with these next time and add all the additional features and work my way up the leg. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out updates on this project and other projects. And also check out my social media pages in the link in the description to this video.